Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will be taking an overview of the socket programming. So in the socket programming, first of all, we create a socket. Then we bind the socket to a well-known port or any port number of our own choice. Then we listen for the incoming connections. Then we accept the connections from the clients. And, and, and this accept here is a blocking call. Here, then we enter into the read-write loop. Here we are reading the data from the client and then we are writing the data back to the client. Once the functionality of the client is over, it issues a close call which basically sends an end of file notification. It might happen that the client crashes and is not able to issue the end of file notification. In such cases, the read operation will become complicated and we will uh, actually we will not be looking into those corner cases here. Now to understand uh, the complete uh, one now once we have understood the complete architecture we will simply look at the Python code and in the subsequent videos we will be looking at uh, we will be going into a little deeper details by looking at the C code. Even if you are if you are not aware of the Python language the uh, yeah, it will be easy uh, to follow along because the as the language is quite self-explanatory. So here is where the uh, where our main function starts. We come here. The first uh, okay. The first line here is we are basically importing the socket module. We come into the main function. Here it is host. So uh, we have not specified any address here. This means any address which this machine is having. Then port is five thousand. Here the first thing is we create a socket. We create a socket by passing it two arguments. One is af.inet. This is the IP version 4 protocol family. Then, then this is soc underscore stream. This stands for TCP IP. Basically you can have a reference uh, from this uh, tutorial which is a Linux for you uh, magazine's tutorial and this it, speci it specifies that AF I dot is for IP version 4 internet protocols and similarly stock underscore stream is for sequence reliable two way connection based byte stream basically TCP coming back to our program then we issue a bind system call which consists of a tuple which is of host and the port address then we issue a listen system call and then here we start accepting the requests from the clients. This accept system call returns a tuple which again consists of a socket address and also the address of the client. So this is the connection socket and this is the address of the client. Now this is our main read write loop here we are receiving the data from the client and till the time we are receiving the data we do not come out of this while loop and then uh, we basically uh, read the data and print it on the screen and then echo the data back to the client here B here is basically for again encoding the data into the byte stream once we are finished we close the connection socket now coming to the client program in the client program again we have the host address basically this is the address of the server then we have the port number here we are issue we are creating the socket while creating the socket we have not written any parameters because by default it takes a, it, uh, in python it takes it as af underscore inet and soc stream then we are issuing a connect system call here as you can see in our presentation first of all we create the socket and then we issue the connect system call coming here then this is our read write loop we are taking a message from the user and then sending the message this is encoding we are encoding into it into the byte stream and this is we are receiving the uh, echo back from the server and then we are printing it on the screen so let us see this program in action now We are using Python 3 here. So our server has started. 
now we will start the client so our client has started he is saying hello and you see the hello has come and the server has echoed back the hello see the request received from the client and this is uh, the one which is received from the server now we will open up one more window one more terminal here if we write uh, something from two you see we are not receiving anything back from the server uh, presently because it is in that read write loop now we close the connection here and we start receiving from the client 2 now we will uh, try to make the server application a little more generalized uh, in a way uh, that we will uh, accept now the calls from multiple clients now we have seen that only one client at a time can uh, request for a call from the server we will uh, try to make it uh, receive the calls from uh, different uh, clients simultaneously for this we will simply issue uh, we will make a few changes in the program the only changes in the program are first of all we are now here importing the OS module this is our definition for handling the client we will be covering this uh, uh, later in the video first of all we are def uh, using the same things we are defining the main we are having the host port we are creating the socket we are then binding it then we are listening to the socket this is the accept system call here we are issuing the fork system call and if we are in the child process then we will handle the request otherwise we will close the connection and then again wait for the other clients here so in the client what we are doing in the handle client uh, uh, part what we are doing is we are entering into the read write loop once we have finished this read write loop we are closing the connection and then we are using the uh, exit system call now we will see this code into action we'll close this okay uh, okay so okay uh, here uh, we will look at uh, the uh, next program okay now the server is listening here is our client Now this is our second client. So this is from where we have received uh, the message, the echo back from the server. Oh, uh, that's all for this video. Thank you.